Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my shop. Got a new sticker from Calico Metal Detectors, my uh, newest hobby which I've been having fun with. Went out and uh, found a couple uh, very strange coins yesterday. I'll have to show them to you. Tried to get you a good shot of my neat little coin. I found two of these in the same hole. I put a little effort into cleaning this one up so you could at least hopefully make out what it says here. The other side was heads I win. This side says tails you lose. What a pair of coins to find for my first coin find. Tom Lipton and I must be on some kind of a uh, magnetic wave length here because I've been getting these uh, rare earth magnets, I think they're called, very powerful. Been uh, using them for several little projects around here. And I have one, a project that I want to do for work. Uh, I run a plasma burn machine, most of you probably know that. Um, put your steel on slats that are our tables are 11 foot wide and 30 foot long and uh, those slats are about six inches apart five inches apart the whole length of the table and they run the 11 foot way so uh, that's what the, the steel sets on and you burn your parts sometimes you burn little parts that'll tip over and fall into the bottom of the burn table there where it's Will then get slag blown all over it, splattered all over it, and makes a mess out of it. So you try to catch them with a magnet so they don't fall through. Well, sometimes we burn little tiny parts, and the head of the plasma machine is that big around, and you just can't get one of those magnets on it, and it's going to fall through. So I want to make just a little handled tool with one of these magnets on it, that as it comes around you can stick that magnet on it and pull that part out before it falls through the table. Plus I want to make another one with a handle about three, three and a half feet long. The table's 30 inches high so probably about four feet would be handy. That in case something does fall through you can reach down in there, stick a magnet on it and pull it back out. Um, otherwise you have to run the, the slagger blade is what it's called. It's like a little bulldozer that runs underneath the table and pushes all the, the slag and junk and parts out the end into a pit that you then haul out and empty. So it'd be nice to be able to reach down and get some of those parts. I'll probably make maybe one that two or three of these little magnets will fit on to give it more power when you reach down in there for a little bit larger parts, even though those will pick up something pretty big. What I need to know is they're an epoxy that is can handle the heat because they get pretty hot. The parts do. So I need an epoxy that will handle that much heat. Or the other solution is, I've seen these magnets with a hole in them that you could put a uh, flat head machine screw or something like that in to hold it onto what I want to put it on. Would that be a better route? And would they have as much magnetic lift as these babies do? So I'm going to look on the internet to see what they say about those magnets and uh, I'd like you to tell me what you think about the epoxy deal. Thanks for watching.